What's going on, family? It's your guy, Boro the Lucky Libra, and thank you for tuning in to another episode. All right, as you can see by the title, we're picking up the signs through the six house uh, series with Aries in the sixth house. All right, so we just completed signs through the fifth house series. So if y'all want to go catch uh, Aries through Pisces in the fifth house, y'all make sure to go tap into that. All right, before we get into it, make sure to like, share, subscribe. All right, family, let's get these gems circulated. Make sure to tap into my website so you can connect with the Lucky Libra. And make sure to tap into my Patreon. If you'd like to dive deeper, let's get right into it. Aries in the sixth house. First of all, what is the sixth house? The sixth house deals with our routine, all right? Deals with how we like to schedule things, influences we deal with when it comes to the workplace. Not everybody clocks into a certain physical place uh, when we talk about work. So the sixth house also influences how you work on things, what you may be influenced to work on, all right? So we got the second house. The, the six houses are uh, quote-unquote earth house, all right? Career house. So when we look at uh, the second house, the second house is our value system. This is where we see what we feel like we're made of, what we're worth, all right? How we invest in ourselves or invest in what we're worth, talents, gifts, you know, what we're good at. Six house is how we water that. It's how we schedule it, how we, how we, you know, water that seed from the second house, how we routine things, how we develop a work ethic, how we develop a routine and schedule around things, you know, how we organize or see the detail to how we're working on things, right? So that's what we're dealing with in the sixth house. And in the tenth house, that's when we gain notoriety, social status for things, the midheaven. Now, Aries in the sixth house. The sixth house also has an influence on uh, regiment diet, um, you know, mental health, uh, you know, mental wellness and whatnot, you know, your, your overall wellness, excuse me, mental health and your overall wellness. All right. Rules the nervous system. So we bring Aries here. All right. So for one Aries is ruled by Mars. We need to know what house you have Mars in. Repeat. If you have Aries in the sixth house, you need to know what house you have Mars in because Mars is the ruler of your sixth house. So this is my what? This is my Scorpio risings. This is my Scorpio risings. Yeah, Scorpio risings. You may be a Sag rising. You may be a Sag rising. You may be a Libra rising. Maybe a chance you have Aries starting in your sixth house. Excuse me, because if you're a Libra rising, no, no, if you're a Libra rising, no, you, yeah. Depending on how you're charted, it, it, it really depends. It really depends. But um, when we look, when we look at the uh, uh, Aries in here, we got to know where Mars is at. Now, you know, Aries is for it. What do we know Aries brings to the area it's in in your chart? It's going to influence your individuality or you're going to deal with it or you're going to deal with that there. Remember, you're either going to develop the signs is what you're experiencing in the house. All right. So Aries being in the sixth house, it's going to experience Aries like energies whenever this individual is in the sixth house at the workplace, working on something, trying to schedule and routine something in their life, trying to gain organization, how they schedule their life. They're going to start dealing with Aries. They're going to attract Aries energies once they're in that realm of the sixth house. All right. Not to use the word realm, go so deep when they're in that world, when they're in that area. Right. So. Uh, you may deal with forceful, aggressive people in this area, somewhat power and controlling, somewhat possessive if we're talking about the workplace. So you can be, you know, Aries in the sixth house. You have to uh, beware of like stubborn, stubborn, competitive ass co-workers and shit. You know, where you work at, you might have a, a boss, a manager that overdo, overdoes it with their authority. So that's one thing here, you know, may overdo it with authority in the workplace. Uh, you may deal with a lot of competition in the workplace. Mars brings that sense of competition. And when you got Aries in the sixth house, it's like every time you choose to work on something, every time you try to build something in your life, you got a sense of motherfucking, uh, you got a sense of what's the name around you? You have a sense of um, competition around you. You know, people, uh, you know, real out of nowhere become real passionate about what it is, what it is you're working on or end up clashing with what you're working on in the workplace in some type of shape or form. Authority is very strong here. You know, Aries 
energy is dealing with leading, pioneer like energy, authority. So when it comes into the sixth house, you're going to manifest experiences in this house that kind of push you and influence you towards being the authority and leader within what you're building, what you're trying to structure and career influences. It may be a little hard to deal with authority in this area. It may be hard dealing with authority, uh, Scorpio Risings in the workplace, in the job place. These individuals, a lot of the time, Scorpio Risings, they going to end up doing some individual shit from work. Whether they motherfucking freelancing, whether they driving Uber, whether they're artists, whether they, uh, they going, a lot of the times here, they're going to end up doing something individual in the workplace. Scorpio's already the natural personality. Scorpio, the, the chart is ruled by Mars. The chart is ruled by Mars already being a Scorpio rising. So this brings a lot of significance to the Aries house. This Because the ruler of this house is the chart ruler. All right. So strong personality in the sixth house. These individuals might not want to compromise. They, they don't like to compromise in this area. When it comes to you working with other people in this area, you may deal with the frustrations of others not knowing how to cooperate and compromise. But ultimately, you may not want to deal with any of that anyways. Now, you might have... You might your sun or moon might be cooperative and relatable. You might be a Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, sun, moon, or something. You feel me? So that starts to make you more cooperative. But when you get into the workplace, you're gonna want to take more uh, individual authority over how you like to work on things. You're gonna want to work alone a lot of the times. You want to get your shit done. You're gonna deal with frustrations a lot of the time when people are distracting you from your routine, what you like to work on, your schedule. That's gonna be very frustrating a lot of the times too. Just dealing with mere distractions here because Aries likes to get from point A to B. They don't want to wait on any person, place, or thing to do certain things. So when a Scorpio rising has their schedule, routine, regimen, when they actually have it planned, organized, and structured, there's very low tolerance for people, places, and things getting in the way of what they need to check off their to-do list in the sixth house. They may develop a lot of passion for dealing with six house energies. You may find them very passionate for how they go about structuring and routining things. All right. Especially if they got like earth placements in the in the chart or whatnot, or they got really nice alignments hitting the six house. You know, they're going to be dialed in with this house. They're going to be real focused with this house. Uh, Aries in the sixth house. Once again, deal with extreme energy. So a lot of once again, like that, that uh, hater, stubborn competitive like energy in the workplace you got to be careful make sure you don't add too much fuel into that to to the point where you know you start burning bridges in the sixth house before you even get to transition or before you get yourself established with your new job right that's that's very key there make sure you don't be burning bridges like that burning opportunities to the point you don't even know where you're about to step next right could be short fused here um short tempered here but heavy durability though that's that's very key here Aries has very, if not the most durable sign in the Zodiac. When I'm saying durable, they can take hits. A lot of stamina, right? A lot of energy. So when you bring that into the sixth house, some of these people, they can jump into being crazy athletes, trainers. Uh, uh, the work ethic is very high in the workplace. You got to make sure you don't get taken advantage of by others or other authorities because they see your work ethic is high. They see you're very durable. So now they start taking advantage of your energy and not compensating you for that. It's very important there. <coughs> Keep that in mind. Um, and this house deals with the uh, nervous system, wellness, you know, your diet and regimen, how you take care of yourself. So you got to make sure Aries in the sixth house that for one, that there's some balance between your goals and how you take care of yourself here. Because, you know, Aries could be a little bit too dialed into how it's trying to work on something, either work on his passions or the way it works passionately. You know, it can get exhausted there. And now it starts neglecting how it takes care of itself. All right. It starts neglecting the wellness aspect to your sixth house because it was so focused on the goal oriented, uh, uh, you know, the intentions, the goals, the ambitions in the sixth house. All right. So powerful energy when you when you channel it into working on something, you know, Scorpio, Scorpio rising with that areas in the sixth house. Once they actually have an efficient routine or schedule with something and they stay locked into that, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful the things that can be accomplished here. 
all right it's beautiful uh but that sense of authority they're gonna a lot of times yeah they're gonna manifest independent situations in the workplace their own office or freelancing in their own individual career or manifesting some some state of authority within what they do in career but it's, it's only so long as they y'all don't be that patient with that shit though y'all don't be that patient dealing with you know, having asshole bosses, managers, or what? Yeah, I don't like that shit. Yeah, I can't deal with that shit. Um, uh, but yeah, y'all gotta you just gotta make sure you stay paced. You know, you don't overwhelm yourself with what is it you feel like you're so passionate, eager. You know, uh, uh to want to build in the sixth house. You know, you don't want to overwhelm yourself, nervous system start going crazy. Pace. That's another thing. This is the earth house. You need patience. Areas you can't be forcing everything here. When you want to work on something, when you want to structure something, and this could go into relationships. The sixth house is whenever you're working on something. So we be working on our relationship. We be working on ourselves. We be working on career. Anything you're trying to work on, you're consistently working on it. It's consistently in your schedule and routine. That can fall into your sixth house. All right? So, you know, Aries in the sixth house, you got to make sure that... um. When it comes to things that you're working, building, stabilizing, you can put all the passion and force and power into, you know, how you're working on working on something in the world, but it still needs patience to grow. It still needs patience to grow. Aries in the sixth house, you, you could lift all the money. You could lift all the weights in the gym. You still need to rest your body so you can recharge and you can make the transformation and the, mu the muscles can start to expand. That fat could get, you know, feel me? It could start to drop. You got to give it the, it's a process. So that's something to keep in mind, Aries in the sixth house, just in case you got some turned up energy. Your, your sun and moon might be in fire or something, you feel me? So just something to understand there. And um, let me make sure I ain't leave nothing out here. You know, could develop an aggressive nature here. You know, the sixth house could deal with, uh, you know, frustrations with people getting in the way of like how us to work on things, routine things here. Real pioneer like energy in the sixth house wants to lead within their own schedule. Doesn't want their schedule routine dictated to them. That's very frustrating. All right. Uh, these, these people can be very inspirational, motivational in the sixth house. But that's the thing there. They just don't. Aries don't like doing things with people. It ain't about teamwork and partnerships. It's about individuality, the I am, the head, the self. So when you got Aries in the sixth house, if they fuck with you enough, or if you just happen to be working with them on something, you feel me, and you know they value you, you gonna see them be hella inspirational, motivational in this area. Or when it comes into career, if they end up, they could actually have that actually be things that align with them in career. Uh, uh, I don't like to correlate Mars and Aries all to sports, but it is dealing with a sense of physicality and aggression and forcefulness, right? So when we put that energy in the sixth house, you may have a real upbeat trainer, you know, uh, 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 you know, a trainer in the sixth house is really going to get you right, Aries. So they're going to really get you right because they, they don't play in the sixth house. But like, you know, athleticism, training, athletes, anything dealing with the gym and dealing with, you know, helping get your body regimen together. They real serious here. They could be really good. They could be real inspirational, motivational here. That Even if it's a, just a dietitian, you know. Um, And they could be passionate about, lastly, they could be very passionate about health, wellness. Overall, they could be passionate or goal oriented in that in that area, especially if they got like Mars and Virgo, or like you know, uh, yeah, it could play out in that type of way as well. They can start becoming goal oriented and passionate in the areas dealing with wellness. They could you know start penetrating uh, uh, their knowledge there, start setting more intentions for you know uh, you know improving things in the sixth house with Mars there. So yeah, that could start to become some. Uh, some uh, intentions and things that they become goal oriented around in this house. Okay. But yes, they bring the passion to the sixth house, man. You got to know where Mars is at. Got to know where Mars is at. Very important. Got to know where all your house lords are at. All right, family. So y'all already know the vibes. It's your guy, Bo, the lucky Libra. Tuning in and tuning out. Make sure you like, share, subscribe so we can circulate these gems and this awareness. Y'all make sure to tap into my website so y'all can connect with the lucky Libra and tap into my Patreon so we could dive deeper. All right, family. Next, we picking up with Taurus in the sixth house. And until next time, family, peace.